Welcome to this Oracle Database 12C demonstration. My name is Maria Billings. I work for Oracle Server Technologies Curriculum. In this video, we'll back up and create a key store, which is part of transparent data encryption. You see the detailed task steps on this slide. Logged in as the Oracle OS user, we are pointing to the OSCL instance. Our first task is to confirm that the directory for the key store, formerly known as Wallet, exists, which it does. Then we confirm that the sqlnet.ora file contains an entry for the encryption wallet. Please note the indentations here, they are important. Next we connect to SQL Plus to create a password-based key store and to create the keys in it. Now we are creating a key store with the sample password secret password. Let's confirm that the wallet or key store really exists. So we confirmed that the wallet exists. Next we open the key store. Optionally you can use the V$ encryption wallet dynamic view to look at information about this wallet. Time to generate the master encryption key, which we give the tag master. We're executing again a host to s command, and you can see that the key store has been backed up uh, before the master key was generated. You see the changing file size here. You also see the tag master here that we defined above. Obviously it's important to backup the key store because if the key store file were lost the backup is not recoverable if you do not have other options set up. And now let's take a look at the backup of the key store. We've come to the end of this demo. The slide lists the most important steps to create and backup a key store. Thanks for watching this demonstration.